I thought the fight of three years only. This is a demand for the right we to work. We shall not be moved. We're on our way to Glasgow Green. We shall not be moved. We're on our way to Glasgow Green. We shall not be moved. That by the Tories of this party. We shall not be Well, it's been a fair day to some government minister that the UCS has been consistently handing out money as a beggar to cost back. But we are no beggar to cost back. We are only demanding the right for any human being. The right for every man, every man is self-respect to do a non-stage work. But let's give our priorities right. But our main objective is the retention, no contraction in this industry that we will be occupying these gaps if the occasion arises, if it's necessary, that we are fighting for our jobs. If it becomes a physical fight, it will not be our fault, it will be the government's fault. I'll be reporting to work as usual on Monday morning at 10 minutes to 8. orders and the government trying to starve us of finance. This time they're starving us of both orders and finance. But it's a national issue. What do you think gives them the confidence to try it again? Well, I, I, I think events over the last few years where unfortunately the trade union movement's been running. I think what really gave them the, the, the boost, in my opinion, it's a personal opinion, was for the Leyland workers an engineering union allowed a disgrace at the victimization of the convener in Leyland. That then opened the door, in my opinion. Think, son, there is no power in this world can halt it. of redundancies after redundancies, the crippling paralysis of small redundancies here and there with the cumulative effect of mass unemployment 
We're not going to be hungry. We'll fight when we're in the yards and in the factories and not when we're in the doll shoes. Is there a tension, no contraction in this industry?